Hey guys, this is Cam from today's iPhone.com and guess what arrived through my post box this morning? The iPhone 4S. Well I say it, it kind of it didn't go through my post box. I opened the door and, and let the delivery guy in and then I took it off him. But anyway, it's here and we're gonna do an unboxing. But just to get a few things out of the way first, yes, I have a mole. Yes, I got hit by a squash racket while playing squash and split my eyebrow open. And my nose is sounding a bit stuffy because I'm feeling a bit ill. But despite all that, if you can ignore all of it, we're going to get straight to the unboxing now. So this is the iPhone 4S in its box. And this is my unboxing knife. It's nice and curved. Just open the seal. And please excuse me sniffing every now and then. It is because I'm not feeling too great. This is the 32 gig white version. And there you have it. There is the iPhone 4S. I'm just going to boot it up. So obviously the usual, the usual tray that holds the device is here. Inside is all your kind of your books that you never read, but you might if you're bored one day. Um, fingertips, just a quick start guide on how to use the device. It's all here. Um, there's the iPhone 4S important product information guide. You can see lots of stuff to read in there. And of course, Apple stickers. No Apple product would be complete. Wow, that just said something to me. I don't know what it was. Voiceover is running. Triple click the home button to cancel. Okay. So in the box, USB cable to the 30 pin, 30 pin dock connector there. It's still talking to me. That is the UK adapter obviously, we stick your USB port in there, your cable and then charges your phone obviously. You know all this uh, and your headset, box standard Apple headset and the usual minimalist white box. We're going to get to the phone now. Okay. I'm just going to take this peel off. Voice over is off. off. Fantastic. I'm just going to peel the back one off as well. That makes such a great noise. So, yeah, that's what you're confronted with when you first switch on your iPhone. Then you can slide to set it up. You don't have to plug it in anymore. Uh, I just need to put a SIM card in there now so that it will work. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll be back with a little quick overview of the device. So there it is, I've put my SIM card in. So to set it up, you choose your language, you can scroll through English, French, German uh, and various other languages there. But I'm just going to choose British English because that's obviously what I speak. And then once you do this, it'll ask you for iCloud settings and all that kind of stuff. So if you're already on iCloud, you've had an iPhone 4 or 3GS running iOS 5, and you've backed up through iCloud, then you'll get everything through here. Um, but just quickly, the, on the outside, obviously you've got very, very similar design to the iPhone 4. Um, you've got your volume rockers, sorry, the volume switches and your mute switch there. One thing you will notice that's different, this is the iPhone 4 GSM version. So obviously you can see the antenna is slightly different in design. You've got the gap on the top and the bottom on the 4S but only on the bottom on the iPhone 4 because they've got it right there on the headphone jack. Um, and it's the same on the other side. Now we're hoping that this will help deal with the death grip issue that the iPhone 4 experienced. Um, you've got a front camera for video call, FaceTime, Skype, etc. Your proximity sensor is what that bar is there. Um, it helps to tell when you're on a phone call not to activate the touch screen etc. Um, on the bottom you've got the microphone and the speaker grills and obviously your 30 pin dot connector. Um, on the back is the 8 megapixel lens. Looking forward to doing some tests on that to see whether it matches up to the previous iPhone or even if it's that much, if it's noticeably better it'll be interesting to see. So we're going to continue setting this up I'm just going to choose my home network here. So I've got my own. It just says it's going to take up to three minutes to activate the phone. 
Uh, I'm going to restore from an iCloud backup. I'm going to put my Apple ID in, you don't need to see that. So then obviously next screen, terms and conditions, Apple want you to agree to their terms. You can read them if you want to. Um, then we just wait for it to set up. And you can choose a backup. It's backed up today at half past two in the morning apparently. The great thing about iCloud backups is that it does it automatically. If your phone's plugged in on lock, it will just do it itself. Uh, you don't have to choose to do it. And we're just going to restore settings now. So after about 10 minutes, I finally got it up and running. It's still downloading some of my apps. Um, so it's been a little bit slow. Uh, you know how it looks. Uh, you're used to iOS by now. I won't bore you with any of that. I will show you Siri, which you do have to switch on. What's the weather like today? Oh, never mind. Sorry. 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 What's the weather like today? I don't know where you are. You can turn on location services in settings. Then I'll know where you are. Or you can just tell me where to check the weather. Okay, so I'll just check where the you weather is. also ask for things without having to hold the home button. When the screen is on, there just raise the phone to your ear and start talking. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, that's Siri. You can ask it anything. It's pretty intelligent. Um, I'll do a bit of a review on that later on. But this has been the unboxing. Uh, I've been Cam from today's iPhone.com. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can ask me anything there. I'm at TIP underscore Cam. And check out our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash today's iPhone. And our main site, we're going to have tons of coverage on this device, um, today's iPhone.com. I'll see you later.